RCM Industries is a Chicago die casting company facing tough competition from low wage countries. Deploying the Universal Robots E Series Cobot in machine tending gave the company a price point edge on the global market. When we looked at why we wanted to install automation, we were in competition with suppliers in Mexico. They had lower wages. We had to combat that by being able to calculate and quote pricing with the cobots. We were able to eliminate operator costs, uh, made us much more competitive. Without the cobots, we would not have had a shot at that work. We were able to gain revenue, gain capacity, so those uh, employees could be deployed to other departments. Uh, the UR10, the force torque sensing options of the E-Series is something that we are interested in. In our application, we need a high level precision to fit the parts onto the chucks. The E-Series actually has much higher precision and the force torque sensing allows us to search for the right spot on the chucks and self-align with them. It was the perfect application for that. We have about 30 parts to fit onto the table in a straight line. The operator simply needs to load up that table and the robot will go station by station picking up the parts. It'll put it into a prefixture to align it perfectly and it's also detecting if the part's out of shape and if it's going to load correctly. It loads it onto the first set of chucks. It will go to the other side and pick up the completed part from the sub chucks. It'll drop the part on a conveyor to go back. Luckily, we were able to tend two CNC lays with the same robot and it really makes our ROI much better. With regards to uh, ROI, it's a fairly simple calculation. It offsets the labor cost, the uptime, the minimal you know, electricity needed, the minimal maintenance needed. You don't have to have fully certified automation engineers that can work on it. So the payback was quick. Average just under a year. We were able to take a cell that runs three shifts and on each shift we had three people. We were able to get that down to one person doing all those operations. First application was a UR10 that we're deploying on a twin spindle lathe. That cobot is picking up the parts, it's putting them in a wash tank and blowing out any water from the part. The first shift operator will check all the parts that came off the second and third shift. So that took it down from three people to one person. One of the benefits that we got right away was a 15% increase in the throughput as soon as we deployed them. The main advantages of a cobot is the ability to deploy it without any kind of safety fencing. If it does not load on successfully, in which case the operator can go into the cell, remove the part, and start up the cycle again without having to open up any safety caging and lock and tag out the cell. I had no background in programming robots. I was able to download the Polyscope simulation software and program the entire structure of the program before the robot ever arrived. After that, it was just a matter of copying the program, bringing a flash drive to the other machines, and installing it there. For our gripping needs, we selected a PHD 3-jaw New Connect gripper. The gripper is UR Plus certified, so that means that everything is prepared for you already. We simply plug a wire into the robot, and we're ready to go. The E-Series robots are what we are leading with our customers as the cobot of choice. It allowed us to break into new applications that require increased repeatability, that require easier to use interface, increased safety. It's been a great success. The investment in the second, third, fourth, fifth robots is easier. It becomes a culture now. You're always asking, can it be automated? And what is that investment? And does it make sense? And we're finding in more cases than not, it makes sense.